Hi folks and welcome back to the Star Wars Library, where Star Wars is in print and we're continuing our journey through the Marvel series to talk about one issue today by Mary Jo Duffy called The Hero. Now of course you can find it still in our long time ago trade paperback series. This is volume 6 of the Wookiee World um, trade. And uh, one more trade and we are done with the Marvel series folks. It's kind of crazy how fast we've gone through this. I mean, granted it's been a year, but to me it just is like wow. I feel like it felt like it would have been a lot longer. But anyways, um, so this is the cover here of Marvel Star Wars 85. Now, we saw that our heroes are kind of splitting up and going off and doing their own things, doing different missions. Um, Han and uh, Chewie and Lando, this is where we get to see them do their mission. We saw Luke do his in the last Marvel issue. Now we get to go and we get to see Han, Lando, and Chewie do their thing. Um, and so they're basically going, uh, to this planet Drebbel, these, um, um, or I'm sorry, they're going to this planet to, to, um, help recruit these people, um, because, you know, to kind of help form the government that will become ultimately the new Republic. And so, um, so Han and, and Lando and all those guys, they, they're going and, uh, they're looking for a guy named Drebbel. Now Drebbel, as I said earlier, I messed up there. Drebbel is actually uh, a name that we've heard before. It was actually the name that Lando used when he was in disguise way back before Return of the Jedi. What's kind of interesting is that Drebbel is actually a real person. Now, um, it's kind of interesting here. You get to see um, uh, Sabacc being played. Um, in fact, uh, <laughs> Chewie then, like, for example, accuses Lando of cheating which is uh, kind of funny. Um, and so they end up, they're going to this planet, and it turns out, while they're there, they uh, also bump into IG-88 and Bosk. And Bosk uh, doesn't really look like Bosk. Um, he's kind of, I guess he's starting to a little bit, but he's not, I don't know, he's not really looking like Bosk at all. Um, in fact, here are some of the bounty hunters here in this top panel. So basically, um, the heroes end up getting on, going on this chase with these bounty hunters, and hilarity ensues. Um, it, it's just kind of a big chase story. It's kind of, I mean, it's just a standalone series. There really is not much to it. Um, it's just this big, you know, fun chase, I guess, for lack of a better term. Uh, so again, you know, um, you can take it or leave it, really. So it sounds like a throwaway story, uh, though some of this that you see here does actually come into play a little bit later, um, and there's some linking there. But is this an essential read in your chronology or going through the expanded universe? Uh, no. It's not a terrible story. It's just not a memorable or a uh, you know an exciting, I guess, story. Uh, Marvel readers might want to check it out. Again, there's some things in here that might... Um, be good to know a little bit later um but for modern expanded universe readers who aren't checking out the marvel stuff this is an easily skippable issue and uh, you can continue on to something else so folks that is all the time i have for today thank you so much for tuning in and i will see you next time with another episode of the star wars library